Uh, Peter Baker, let me start with you. Um, I am not a racist. The new I am not a crook. Yeah, uh, it's you know, if you're uh, president of the United States and you're busy telling people you're not a racist, you're losing an argument. Uh, but on the other hand, maybe he does think this plays well with the base, as uh, Josh Dashi said, that he, they did not deny this at first. It's very curious, in fact, that they didn't deny it. They said, well, look, he uses salty language, he uses tough language, but he was trying to make a point. Nobody said that the reports that came out at first, uh, which my paper as well as the Washington Post and others all confirmed, uh, were wrong. It's only really days later that they began to try to slice the apple between S-hole and, and S-house, as you said. So, you know, uh, it, it's a lot of slicing and dicing of words here. It recalls a time when Bill Clinton was talking about the meaning of the word is, is. People, uh, people know what this president probably meant, and I think they're able to judge it on their own. Robert Costa, what's wrong with, or what, what's the thinking behind Senators uh, uh, Purdue and Cotton parsing words between bleep hole and bleep house and hanging their defense of Donald Trump on such an asinine differential. Well, Nicole, Dawson and I are actually here in the newsroom trying to figure that out. We've reached out to Senator Perdue and Senator Cotton. Uh, Senator uh, Perdue has declined to explain more about his position, what went on in that meeting. It, it seems like in his recent interviews over the weekend that he, he heard a different word, perhaps. We have not been able to figure out exactly what he believes the president said. He wouldn't say that over the weekend on one of the Sunday shows. And so we're trying to figure out what was happening in that room. And every reporter in town is just combing through sources at the White House. What happened? What was the extent of what was said? You know.